Rebar is not the choice now. Sometimes we just want to make sure our cracks are small and in all of these situations. Reinforced concrete fiber is the answer now. We should know that concrete is weak in tension. That means if I have a beam, and I start to load it at the top, it will start to squish a little bit at the top and pull apart at the bottom that squish is called compression that pull at the bottom is called tension. If the tension is large enough we get cracks. If we don't have any reinforcing inside of our concrete it's not good. What if we added fibers to the concrete while we were making it? Now this crack it will still form at the same load but the beam won't fall apart it will be held together. If we looked in the cracks we see some fibers. If we zoomed in there, those fibers are doing an important job as I try to pull that concrete apart. It makes it really really hard to pull apart we call this toughness this post cracking strength that's called toughness. Now this crack it will still form at the same load but the beam won't fall apart it will be held together. If you can't see the crack is it really there and small cracks can equal long life concrete because they can keep outside chemicals from getting in from causing all kinds of deterioration and are reinforcing to corrode but fibers also give it this post cracking strength. Microfibers are used to help fresh concrete that's when after you mix it till about 6 hours this is a big deal when it's hot windy sunny when you're worried about plastic shrinkage. Microfibers are usually less than half an inch in size. They're usually flexible material they hold concrete together when it's wet when it's still fresh and they keep it from cracking. Macro fibers they are all about the hardened concrete they're about protecting it from the first days two years after it's been made they're usually greater than half an inch in length and they're usually stiff material they can be plastic. They can be steel, they can be glass, basalt, lots of different things, but they're pretty stiff. Fibers are randomly oriented in our concrete, and that's not the best. We'd love to be able to control the orientation. Once I started to load, I'd like my fibers to be there if I knew where a crack was going to form. Aligned. If I could align my fibers all up and where I know the crack is going to form, then it could stop it. Unaligned. But if I have a randomly distributed all over the place some may help me and some may not so fibers are kind of random we don't know in there. So they're hard to predict. Fibers are a great tool to reduce the cracking and increase the toughness but be careful because not all fibers are the same. 